5G is the name of the game here at the Mobile World Congress 2018. Hi, this is Dhruv Bhutani from Team Phone Arena and I'm at the Qualcomm booth as you can see. But they've been focusing on their 5G solutions, next generation Wi-Fi solutions and how all of this will integrate with your life through IoT, through healthcare, through connected cars and of course higher speeds on your smartphone. So let's take a closer look at what Qualcomm has been doing on the 5G and Wi-Fi side of things. So at the Qualcomm booth, as we take a look at the future of 5G and what sort of applications there can be, one of the key applications that you're going to see are connected cars. So we've got a demo of a connected car going on over here and the idea is that your car will have 5G capabilities built into it and this will enable a lot of interesting use cases be it uh, downloading a 4K video for your media streaming. Using the 5G connection, your car will be able to upload telemetry data and your car manufacturer can further tweak the car. So no longer is your car exactly the way that you get it out of the factory. You can do more with it. Uh, Qualcomm is also enabling a lot of AI features. So they've got cameras on all fronts. You can get a bird's eye view of what's going on around your car so that you can avoid any possible accidents. Um, and this also means that um, if there's a green light, or if there's a red light, your car knows it and it can give you a notification inside. Using Qualcomm's platform, your car will be able to do better lane detection, be able to see when another vehicle gets too close and do so much more. What Qualcomm is trying to say is that the sky is the limit once you have Qualcomm's chipset built into your vehicle and once you have 5G capabilities because the high speed data networks, the low latency data networks will allow your car to interface with, with cloud computers and do a lot more than that has been capable. One of the most basic features of 5G are the incredible speeds that you can get on your mobile platform. And that is critical to enabling a lot of the use cases that Qualcomm has been talking about. So Qualcomm has been demoing their X50 LTE modem. This modem is capable of giving you speeds of 4 gigabits or even higher on your smartphone. And this chipset should be available on commercial platforms within the next two years. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so what we are demonstrating here is uh, the first 5G modem, mm -hmm. uh, the first Snapdragon X50 modem from Qualcomm and this is a demonstration of millimeter wave 28 gigahertz and uh, what you see here behind behind the wall we have a key site uh, test equipment that mimics the base station and it's transmitting a 28 gigahertz uh, dual polarized signal and uh, the UE uh, receives it and th there is a there is an end-to-end -end solution consisting of an antenna module the transceiver and also the X50 modem and over on this uh, screen you are able to see the through the downlink throughputs we are able to achieve uh, how soon can can consumers get to get to take the benefits of something like this end of the year is the commercial sample so okay. next next uh, uh, first quarter of 2019 we expect to see devices in the market thank you so much at the Mobile World Congress Qualcomm is demoing the Centric 2400 10 nanometer server processor uh, what this basically enables is cloud-based gaming and a lot of other cloud-based features as well. We've got a demo of Angry Birds running up in the cloud, not locally on your phone, and the experience is almost as if you were running it locally. There's hardly any latency, and this is something we're going to be seeing a lot in the future as well, so that you can have high-performance games and applications running on budget hardware. Let's take a closer look.